Can you beat Borderlands 2 while only using legendary items? Episode number 6. And today we'll be doing the Hodak vs. Zephold quest line. And at the end, I'll be choosing which weapon to get between the Slagger and the Maggie. And starting off, all we have to do is destroy the giant Hodunk speedway sign and then heading to the Zaffold place and destroying their distillery. And now that's done, and they both think each other did it, even though they should really invest in some damn security cameras so they could have known it was me straight away. The Zaffold boss then hires me to go attack the Hodunks at their raceway. And I get there without any troubles at all, so I place the bombs on the track and kill the guy who saw me do it. So instead of blowing up the bridge with the races on it, I decide to hunt them down like the animals they are. And now to make my daring escape and tell Ellie what I've done. So now the Hodunks want me to go to the Zaffords to kill their money man and steal all their money as revenge. And because I just I love watching mayhem, I decide to agree and do it. So I head to the Zafford place, then I find the money man and I murder him. Then I scab all the money in the place, and it's time to dip. So, because I did this, the Zaphors now want me to go and absolutely destroy the Hodunks by burning down their buildings. And then I head there and murder everyone and their caravans. They basically had no defense whatsoever. What a bunch of bloody morons. But because they somehow still don't know it's me, the Hodunks sent me to the Zaphors place to kill everyone at their funeral, which is a bit rough, but the game's a game. So, because I still want this legendary, I go there and absolutely decimate their entire funeral party. Poor guys. Now this mission is the exact reason I got the Rolling Thunder. Because to be honest, it was pretty satisfying seeing the Rolling Thunder absolutely decimate anyone inside. But sadly, that did include me as well. And now that I've done this, they finally decide, fuck it, and the two bosses are going to fight each other now. So I get to decide which legendary I want. I mean which team I want to fight for. At first, I was thinking the Slugger would be pretty good, so then I would have to kill the Hodunks. But, to be honest, while doing all these missions for them, the Zaffords were meaner to me, and that little weird midget guy from the Hodunks is pretty funny. So, I decide I'm gonna kill the Zafford leader and go for the Maggie. And now, usually at this time, I would say, let the farming commence. But, it was very, very quick, and I got it in only two damn tries. Hold that. Oh my god! Okay. Yep, so I pretty much spent about half an hour doing all the missions just to get the gun in about two minutes. So that's nice. But now it's time to go for the cradle, which drops from Henry. But because nothing is that easy, I have to do a quest before I can even find him. But to be honest, the quest was pretty easy. All I had to do was search through a bunch of stalker shit, listen to his voice recordings, and then kill a stalker which had a box. Then to go to Henry's lair and place that box down, and he spawns. Oh fuck. Hello. Now it's time to let the farming commence because this one took forever. Ha 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 ha! Just kidding. Seems I'm lucky today because, again, twice in a row, I got it two times. This is going to be a pain, because he's going to drop it off the side of the edge. Off the side. Oh my god! How the fuck? Shit. Hey, did I get it? Yeah! Well, boy was I excited for nothing. Because this might be the worst shield in the game. And it did more damage to me than it did to enemies. Because when it depletes, it throws itself and will explode in a few seconds. But... It always throws it in front of me, because that's where I'm walking. But anyway, I'm done with that now, and it's time to head to the Wildlife Exploitation Preserve. And yeah, the name of the place should really explain itself. So, I get there, and I meet up with Mordecai, who's hiding in a cave. Because Bloodwing was stolen, and he wants to know where it is. Hey, How's it going, lad? Then it's time to make my way inside, but Mordecai's a prick. Because he keeps killing shit that doesn't need to be killed. But I finally make it further inside, and I meet my friends Pimon and Tumba, who both have legendaries that they can drop, and I will be farming them. But they didn't drop it this time, and it's time to head further in and find some certain loot midgets. But before doing that, I have to go through the biggest pain in my ass, which is a place where I can't go through unless if I kill everything in the area. But I get through that pretty easily, and now it's time for the loot midgets. But in the first run, they didn't drop anything. Then it's time to actually finish the mission and go to Bloodwing and, well, sadly kill him. 
But in good news, I can actually start the farming now. And while this is the longest run of any legendary farm, it is also the best because there's like so many different opportunities of getting legendaries. Mainly the loot midgets though. But when Mothrak spawns, I'm just hoping I get legendary quickly because it takes way too long to get to the Sun of Mothrak. But there is one upside of this area, and that is the chests. Because look at this. Oh! What? The hell? What? And that's actually a good legendary as well. Like, I'm going to be using that as my grenade mod for a good while now. In only two runs as well. Ooh. But continuing the farming, and while doing the third run, I figure out that it takes around 10 minutes each run. So think about it, if the Skull Masher that drops from Son of Mothrak, which is at the end of the run, which will take 10 minutes to get to every time, if that gun takes 60 tries to drop, like the Rolling Thunder did for me, that will take 600 minutes or 10 hours. So, not looking forward to it. But, at the start of the fourth run, I see this. It's not a loot midget, it's not Pimmon Tumba, it's a chubby. Oh, that's why, okay. Yeah, who cares? Oh. <gasps> oh! But sadly, I didn't get what I was hoping for. <gasps> it didn't even drop anything. No! Fuck's sake. And now it's time to continue the fourth run, which turns out to be one of the best runs that I could possibly hope for. Starting off with the loot midgets. And they actually gave me something this time. Can't start me, boy. Oh! Oh, is it the fucking quasar? Oh! <gasps> Come on! Then, in the same run, the luckiest moment, probably of the entire run, I get the Skull Masher from the Son of Mothrak. And that could have taken me forever to do. And I only get it in two tries. Thank God. Holy shit. Same thing. Oh! <gasps> it dropped it! Yes! Oh, on the second... Yeah, the second try. Yes! I don't have to go to this damn Son of Mothrak anymore, which like cuts my run time in half. And for the next two runs, I really don't get anything. But on the sixth run, the midgets let out their final legendary of the day. And it's... Oh, The fucking Emperor! What am I gonna do with the fucking Emperor? Huh? Yep, so I did all that just to get an Emperor. But, that's the end of this episode, and next time I'll be continuing with the Loot Midgets and Pimon and Tumba because I've not got their legendaries yet, and I'm going for the Loot Midgets until I get a class mod, which I desperately need.